here we are headed to a charging station and uh, I really love this crap car so let's start going from a stop sign jump a few speed bumps so I am at the phase of dealing with road noises the camera usually picks up more than what I can hear and we're just doing like 30 in the residential here but I I'm being careful because I hear this ugly thud rattle from the right rear of the car and I don't know what it is if I come to a stop I'll move the camera that way so you can see it So, rides really smooth, um, keep in mind, uh, I don't mean to brag, but the vintage tires I'm running came over on the Mayflower, so they are probably hard as a rock. Okay, so here's a stop, I'm going to pan real quick. So it's coming from there, somewhere in there, people looking at me like I'm that guy. Yes, I'm an influencer. Going to a charging station, charge point, it's my favorite uh, for two reasons. One, because it works, and two, because the charge station is called the same damn thing as the app. Some charging places here in the States, they call their station one thing and then they call their app another thing. Just ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna end it here for now. So sitting at a light, this is a busy street here that we're gonna go on for a minute and then we're gonna turn off of it. But I just wanna show you that it's real driving, you know? Sitting at an intersection. Uh, I've ordered a gauge, gauge cluster, one of those two din, double din things. Ali, thank you for uh, your video. I didn't get the exact same thing you did, but something similar so look at this I mean this is a three lane street and we're on it I'm gonna go right here at the light I'm recording this trip for distance and speeds on uh, using some sort of a speedometer app, satellite based, I guess. So, pretty much one foot driving, you know? I, I don't have region right now enabled, but I just take my foot off the gas and it slows down enough. I gotta get my snob on. We're pulling into some newly built aquatic center. I just come here for the charging, but let's get ready for some dirty looks from the Tesla people. Let's see if I can pull in here. Pretty sure that the charger is on the other side of the car, so maybe I'll be like a cool uh, Tesla dude and back it in here. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, guys, I did the little voodoo with my phone, and it tells me this site is available. So now we just flip that open, plug it in. And we should be charging. It's that easy. So I have my charger, the Outlander charger wired on ignition on right now. So that's kind of like in my truck. The, the key has to be turned. I have to turn it to ignition. I think I need to figure out if it really needs to be on permanent power. I assume so if we want to schedule it right. but. 
anyway here we are charging let's go look at the machine see if it tells us that it's actually charging charging well it says it's charging charging and so let's go into some of the details here which one is the details So we've been charging for three minutes. I hope you guys can see that because of the glare, 2.9 kilowatts. I think this charger does like 3.6, but that's good enough for us. Is this free charging? I don't know. We'll figure it out, but you know, it's charging. So gentlemen, charging is complete, it's stopped. Look at the price, it's zero dollars, okay? This place is free. I just talked to a kind lady over there. I helped her get her leaf charging and she confirmed it. Yeah, this area is free. So if you're on the fence about having an EV man, uh, look at that, charging complete. So yeah, you get all these little perks. You just gotta know how and where to find them, but we're gonna, Yank or crank this. Close that. And we're done. Happy, happy. Oh, of course, uh, every time. Where is that damn plane? Anyway. Here it is, first charge of the 84 diesel electric rabbit. Thank you all who have been following and thank you all who have helped me get this far. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We're gonna put in some gauges, get more lights working, but I am stoked. Thanks for watching guys.